welcome back to Central France. You get to start the morning with us the way that we usually do, by taking a walk with Bernice. We are going to be spending some time in the next few days getting our garden for summer in and um, it, we aren't sure exactly what we're going to put in there and we aren't sure exactly how it's going to work. We have to run to the local store and try to find uh, a rototiller and some other tools so it's kind of exciting. So as you see the walk the way we do, please enjoy the heavenly views that I never tire of and listen for the amazing sounds of the wildlife. Today we see the farmer getting his field ready to go. This field had wheat in it last year when we first saw the house. And so we can tell that everyone's sort of getting staged and ready for the growing season. Now it's time for us to prepare our little field. And this is a rototiller that we found in town. And it's a little small, but I think it's working for what we need. And this plot has been fallow for many years. And so um, it's a little bit of a battle with the grass and the soil. Bernice likes to come out and help us by supervising. Um, frankly, she can hear us from the house and barks nonstop unless we bring her out. And she's a little bit of a princess because she doesn't love being down in the grasses. So she likes very much to sit on the wall and watch us do the work. is supervising. What are you trying to do? I'm trying to leave enough room for the lawnmower to go through. So I don't know if it's going to be able to go. It gets wider over there, maybe. Um, is it... Um, are we going to have a border? Huh? Are we going to have a border? Yeah, eventually. Leave a space in between its grass. Leave a space in between here. Well, there's no rule that there's no rule that it has to be as wide as that one. Let's see how it's going. He's been at it for an hour.
really cool toy. Um, the toy that I got is going to fix that pile. I don't know, like snake housing. <laughs> uh, all that, all that brush there is going to get turned into mulch, and I'm excited to do it. Probably not today, because I mowed everything today and and strimmed and mowed the other side. So I'm a little tired. It's a lot going on. Okay, April made a beautiful dinner. And of course, we're ridiculous. We brought some of our hot sauce. This is just Taco Bell hot sauce. Taco Bell hot sauce. But I love it. Yep. And we okay. brought <laughs> sauce from mm -hmm. the United sauce. States. And yep. Enchilada sauce. Beautiful little salad. Having our little stone house dinner. And look at this. It's kind of pretty, huh? Oh, yeah. You found it. Where was it? It was on top of the refrigerator. Duh, got it. <laughs> All right. We're going to have some nice dinner. We found these landscaping staples at a really cool store that was a recommendation by our friend Paula. And we're going to use them for the landscaping fabric. Another thing that we were looking for were some bulbs for flowers for vases this summer. And so we were able to find those here and pick out a few that we liked. And the best part for me uh, was finding rhubarb. Um, I am a Midwestern girl at heart, and where we live in California, it's it's difficult to grow rhubarb, so I was really f excited to find it here. This store is called Gamvert, and it is part of a chain of stores, and we had not been inside one before, although a lot of the towns in France have them, and we didn't realize it was completely diverse in what it sold. So it's a garden store and then it has these amazing food products like cassoulet and confit of duck and just amazing canned goods and mustards from Dijon and Bone. And um, the local food fair was incredible. Michael and I both thought the meat department was a total surprise and the fish and and meats that you could buy there just looked amazing. Our question is, what would you put in your French garden? Here's a look at what we decided on and we will show you how and where we planted it next week. Thanks for watching.